Sugar FX Subtitles is a powerful plugin that allows you to add subtitles to your finalized movie, and it's available for Final Cut Pro 10, Adobe Premiere Pro, Final Cut Studio, Motion, and Adobe After Effects on the Apple Macintosh. I'm using Final Cut Pro 10 for this demonstration. I already have finished the production of my film, so this is the perfect time to create or add my subtitles. If you don't have a final render of your movie, I recommend that you create a compound clip or embedded project composition so your timeline has one clip, just like what I have here. You can find SugarFX subtitles under the Effects browser of your application. Drag and drop it on top of the final movie, and you're ready to start using it. First, you need to select the subtitle format. SugarFX subtitles provides five format options and one of them is to use the widely popular SubRip subtitles format. If you prefer to use your own format, then select the user timecode or the manual keyframe formats. The user manual explains how to set up these formats. And finally, if you want to create these subtitles from scratch using Final Cut Pro 7 or Final Cut Pro 10, select the corresponding Final Cut Pro version format. I have already entered a few markers in the timeline with the subtitle text information, so I'm going to select the option to import the markers using Final Cut Pro 10.0.7. By using this format, SugarFX subtitles will take the exported marker information and use it to burn the subtitles. The process of creating your subtitles using this marker method is pretty simple. The blue markers in the timeline are standard markers that I've been using to set the location where I want each of the subtitles to appear. To create these markers, I just hit play from the beginning of the timeline, and when the playhead reaches the point where there is some dialogue, press the Option key and the letter M in your keyboard to make a marker. The playback stops, and you can type the subtitle text in the space provided, and when done, press Return to accept. Hit play again and do the same for the following subtitles. If you prefer to set the exact duration before you export the data, simply right-click on the blue marker and change it to a chapter marker. The chapter marker has a different color and a pin. Use the offset pin and position it to set the end of the duration for this subtitle. Just make sure that it doesn't overlap the next subtitle. You can combine standard and chapter markers in your timeline. When you're finished creating your markers, go to the File menu and select Export XML. Save the file using the General Metadata view. Go to the desktop, find the file, and change its file extension to .txt and accept the warning. Back in the application, select the Sugar Effects Subtitles effect and make sure that it is using the correct format and click on the Edit Text button to import our exported file. When you click OK to accept, your movie should have the subtitles placed accurately on the timeline. To change the text appearance and position, use the text setup parameters that are easy to understand and the on-screen controls to change the font setting. As you can see, SugarFX Subtitles is a powerful tool that provides the ability to import several formats, providing controls to add, create, or import thousands of subtitles in a straightforward fashion, making this process for filmmakers as simple as possible and suitable for international distribution. SugarFX Subtitles is powered by FX Factory, and it's available for download from our website. I suggest you give them a try and experience for yourself how SugarFX Subtitles can benefit the subtitling of your films. For more plugins, transitions, or effects from SugarFX, please visit our website at sugareffects.tv.